In this video, we're gonna create mesh terrain from points and discuss some of the most common issues we might run into. I'm also going to show you how we could create paths or roads to fit the terrain and how to easily adjust such geometries. Let's begin by referencing terrain points in Grasshopper. Then go under Mesh, Triangulation and take the Delaunay Mesh. The Delaunay Mesh creates a triangulated mesh from points. It's useful if the mesh face order is not established. Unfortunately, this method doesn't always work, especially with a very uneven distribution of points. In such cases, we could use the patch tool and first interpolate a surface through a set of points. The patch component can create a surface through a set of curves as well, but let's input our terrain points here. I'm gonna delete the mesh for now and investigate the surface. As you see, the current surface is not very precise. To control the precision, we use the combination of spans and flexibility. I'm gonna change the number of spans first, so you can see how it works. And then increase the flexibility as well. So you decide what level of precision is needed. I'm gonna leave it here. And I already see an issue. The corner on the top right in the preview is too sharp and goes up too high. I'm gonna turn on the preview of the terrain points in Rhino, then simply copy one point, move it to the right and add that point to the selection. Now we can change its position and find the one that fits best. Next, I'd like this terrain to have rectangular boundaries. Let's look at the top view and reference the boundary curve to the grasshopper and then try connecting the output curve to the patch surface. So this is not what I was aiming for. It might work better with a larger outline, but I'm gonna do something else instead. I'm gonna split the surface. So let's disconnect the curve first, then go under Curve Utilities and take the Project Curve on the Brep tool. Connect the boundary curve to Project and the patch surface as the brep to project onto. The default direction fits here. Next, under Intersect Physical, I'm gonna choose the surface split. Input the patch as a base surface and the projected boundary curve as the splitting curve. We get two trimmed surfaces in the output. I'm simply gonna use the list item to extract the right surface. We could change the input index value or add the additional index as an output. Ok, so we are finished with the initial terrain. I'm gonna convert this surface to a mesh, then deconstruct the mesh so we could see the vertices more clearly. And now let's use mesh prep to have some control over the mesh topology. Input the terrain surface and use custom settings. I'm going to manipulate only the lengths of the edges, that's sufficient in this instance for me, but you can experiment with other settings as well. And of course you could use a free form closed curve as a boundary curve, it would work. So now we have a clean mesh with vertices ordered in a regular quadrilateral grid. Let's say we would like to create a path on this terrain. I begin with planar outline curves representing path boundaries. I'm gonna create a patch surface again to project the path curves on it. Since we're working with a path or a road here, I'd like to straighten the curves a bit. So I need to lower the values for spans and flexibility. Next, I'm gonna go under Curve, Utilities and choose to rebuild curve to make sure that the curves don't have too many unnecessary control points. Let's connect the curves to rebuild. We have an option to define curve degree and here we can define the number of control points for the curves. In this instance the same number will fit all three curves but in some cases you might need to assign a different value for each curve. The tangent preservation is not relevant for us in this case. We can check if the curves were rebuilt correctly and see how the control points look. All looks good, so now I'm gonna bake the path curves into Rhino. I pick a separate layer for these curves. 
Let's select the curves in Rhino and turn on their control point preview. The next steps are optional. I'm going to use Geometry Pipeline to reference all of the curves in a specified Rhino layer automatically. I'm going to right click on the layer, select Rename, copy the name of the layer, paste it in the capsule and set the geometry type to curves. Then add the patch tool again and input the curves. We get an untrimmed surface, so we need to cut out the path. For this, let's go back to Rhino and close the boundary, making sure we create the lines on the appropriate layer. And we get the path. We are almost done. I'm going to turn off the unnecessary previews and model the path in Rhino using the curve control points. When working with Geometry Pipeline, we can easily delete or add new elements and the path is automatically updated. Again, depending on the path geometry, curvature and complexity, you might need to reassess the patch precision. And finally, we can add this path to the mesh terrain, conveniently modifying its geometry where necessary. If you're interested in doing that, follow the link in the description and watch the next video on this playlist.